Welcome to Electronic Geek. In the last video, we saw about BCD to 7 segment decoder circuit. We built the entire circuit with the help of logic gates and the equation for the same were derived with the help of K maps. We also connected the 7 segment display with the output of our decoder and we verified the results. But designing a decoder circuit to drive the 7 segment display with the help of logic gates is not feasible every time. Okay, so we have got ICs which do our job and make the things easier. In this video, we will see about different ICs and I will demonstrate the entire circuit and we will simulate it. So let's get started. So to start with designing of circuit, the first thing that we will have to finalize is the type of display that we are going to use. So in this case, I am taking a common cathode display. Okay, So this is the common cathode display in place here. Uh, you can even take common anode, but uh, depending upon your display, the driver or the decoder will be selected. So as I'm taking common cathode uh, display over here, I will need a decoder which will have active high outputs. And uh, this is the decoder that uh, I'm going to use 74HC4511. So as you can see that uh, there are four inputs A, B, C and D. These are the BCD inputs and here you are having seven outputs which will be connected to this uh, seven segment display through a resistor of course. So as you can see that there are three additional pins. We will first discuss the purpose for each of the pins and then we'll proceed to connections. Now the first pin that you can see is LT. LT stands for lamp test and as you can see that it's an active low input pin meaning that when this is connected to ground or logic zero this pin will be activated so basically lamp test pin is used to check all the uh, segments of leds so if connected to ground all the segments of led will glow basically the purpose of lamp test pin is to check whether all the segments of uh, display are working fine or not now coming to the next one this is bi and uh, even here as you can see it's an active low input pin basically bi is blanking input now if this pin is connected to ground or logic zero uh, basically blanking input will be triggered and under this condition irrespective of your any inputs your all these uh, segments of led will be off now coming to this last pin that is le or uh, stb complement this is latch enable or strobe and as you can see that it's a there's a bar over strobe which means this is also an active low pin which should be connected to the ground now uh, for more details you should always check out the data sheet of this component so here is the data sheet for the same as you can see over here this pin description is always mentioned here as you can see uh, le is the latch enable input that's active low then it's the ripple blanking input bi then the lamp test lt and uh, you can see all of these are active low pins so in order to trigger them or activate them you will have to connect it to the ground now ideally uh, the strobe or the latch enable pin is connected to ground whereas lamp test and blanking input both are connected to plus vcc uh, because we do not want to activate those pins while activating uh, yes we can uh, connect it to the ground but for normal operation purpose uh, we have to connect it to plus vcc now all the seven outputs of this decoder will be connected to this display through a resistor and in order to select the value of the resistor we need two things first is the output voltage of this pin and other is the forward voltage drop of this led segment so in order to check the output voltage of this uh, you can check it in the data sheet see this under this recommended operate and here you can see this supply voltage typically it should be given as plus five and output voltage is maximum that you can get is plus VCC. That means on the output side, you will be having plus 5 volts. Now, here if you see the forward voltage is 1.5 volt and uh, current through each LED segment should be 10 milliamps. So, now in order to find out the value of resistor, the calculator and uh, see this 5 minus 1.5 is equal to 3.5 divided by 10 milliamperes so that is equal to 0 0.01 which is 350 ohms so the resistor which will be needed should have a value of 350 ohms we'll take a resistor here 
change the value to 350 and, and we will simply copy and paste it so all the connections have been made and uh, as said this is the common cathode pin so it has to be connected to the ground like this and uh, coming to the input for all these four so we have a logic toggle switch over here so we'll need four such connect all of these So now our connections are made what is left is uh, these three lamp test blanking input and the latch enable or uh, strobe input so over here i need to ground the uh, strobe pin so now firstly i will demonstrate the lamp test and for doing so i will have to connect it to ground so i will connect this uh, lamp test pin to the ground pin but uh, this blanking input pin should not be connected to ground Okay, so uh, let it uh, stay unconnected only. So when I uh, simulate the circuit, see all the LED segments are high. Now even if I change any of these uh, inputs, uh, there will be no change on the display. So by doing this, we can check whether our segment is working fine or not. Now coming to the blanking input pin. Now as said, if if this pin is connected to ground or if this pin is activated then the segment display will be turned off irrespective of the inputs supplied so uh, we'll remove this lamp test and uh, we'll connect it simply over here let's check out see it's simulating but uh, nothing is changing all the segments are off so you can also check out the function table for this uh, latch decoder driver in the data sheet so uh, you can find it see here is this so everything is mentioned here that what will happen when this input is high this is low and you can check out it now this ic has one more advantage over ic's like 7446 7447 7448 and 7449 which is if you give numbers more than 9 it will strictly not display anything we will check it out so before simulating the circuit i have to make sure that uh, lamp test and blanking input both are connected to logic high rather than keeping it unconnected it's better to connect uh, to logic one such that the pin is not activated i'll change the configuration here. yeah so uh, i'll so when i click here on simulate uh, first thing Yes, as you can see, BCD inputs are zero. So what we can see on the screen is zero. Now we'll change it to one. See, one. Now this is three. This is seven, five, four. Now, uh, if if I give this, see, it's off. Why? Because the number is more than nine. In case of those IC seven double four six seven eight and uh, nine, uh, we used to get. Uh, weird outputs so basically this IC has an advantage over that and uh, you, you can check it out for any number more than 9 uh, you will not see the output only so that is how this IC is better than those so if you want to see more about this IC I will leave the data sheet link in the description below do check it out and uh, if you have any doubts uh, put it in the comment section so this is it for this video Thank you for being till here. Thank you so much. Please do like, share, subscribe and do give me a valuable feedback in the comment section. Thank you for being till here. Thank you so much.